we have this classroom here upstairs oh, with a TV and a VCR in it that we use for watching tapes of our games. Well, this morning I came in, I was turning on some lights, and found two freshmen in the classroom looking, well, guilty as hell. What were they doing? Nothing, they said. Getting some quiet studying done before first period. Oh, and that doesn't sound suspicious at all. I reminded them that the classroom was off limits to anyone but varsity players. They apologized profusely, then fled. At which point I discovered that although they'd turned the television off, the VCR was still playing. This tape. Not the latest football game, I take it? No. It's a homemade video which shows two young people, a boy and a girl, doing, performing very graphic sexual acts. How graphic? Whatever you're imagining. Yes. That times three. Ah. Well, suddenly I'm grateful for my lack of imagination. They both say things, the, the girl and the boy on the tape, but their voices are so muffled you can't quite make out. But the boy, Lizzie, looks a lot like Brandon when I reviewed the tape. Hi, my name is Cody Estel, and I am the director of Good Boys and True. Good Boys and True is a play about uh, a sex tape that is found in uh, the locker of one of the students at St. Joe's Prep. It's a, it's a sex tape involving two young people. One of them who I can't uh, solidly identify, but I'm pretty sure it's one of our students at St. Joe's. In fact, one of uh, my football players. And Brandon is suspected of being part of a scandal. Well, at first she's completely shocked that he would even be suspected of doing something like that. It just doesn't fit into her picture of who he is or how she's raised him. The play sort of unravels of, of, of finding out, you know, is this sex scandal uh, rooted in uh, St. Joe's or is it uh, a completely different boy at a completely different school? Look, don't freak out, but I told her, okay? You did? Yeah, so we had to like discuss it and stuff, call my grandparents. Wait, 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 wait. Were you gonna wait until I heard from Dartmouth and then tell our parents together? Were we? It was kind of a pact, Brandon. We kind of vowed. Look, I told my mom about Dartmouth, Justin, to defuse the situation created by her asking me about the videotape. What? Yeah, Coach Shea gave it to her. Fuck! How did Shea, some freshman assholes, left it in the VCR upstairs? Fuck. But I thought Mitchell had it in his locker. Yeah, but this is Mitchell. He probably made copies of it and started selling them. You fucking idiot. Shea thought it was me. So we gave it to my mom because he and my dad are friends. But it isn't you on the tape. Obviously. Okay, well, that's a relief. Since it's not like we've talked about it, Brandon. And some people are saying it looks like you. Plus, no one's taken any credit for it, so if you examine the list of likely suspects, i.e. your troglodyte teammates, it does seem pretty uncharacteristic. <laughs> it looks like me, whatever. It also looks like Miller. It also looks like Daniel. It also looks like, well, it also kind of looks like you too, stud. <laughs> uh, I'm Will Kiley. I play Brandon Hardy. He is a senior at St. Joe's Prep, which is a private school in the DC area. I, uh, he, Brandon, is captain of the football and basketball team. And I'm Derek Herman. I play Justin Simmons, who is Brandon's best friend. Um, he's a little bit of an intellect. Um, very shy, awkward, but um, for some reason we're best friends and <laughs> I defend him through everything that happens in this play. So Brandon has never uh, dealt with failure before. So when things begin to fall apart around him, I don't think he has any sense of consequence until it's really shoved in his face. Um, he is very protective of his golden boy status and couldn't imagine it going anywhere else. So when things begin to crumble, uh, he lives in denial for a long time. And so I think it's about figuring out, slowly, uh, piecing together the story of, 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 of who is on this, on this uh, scandalous tape and, um, and how to address it. She also begins to learn that the school not necessarily supports those activities, but is very willing to cover them up. 
this uh, potential embarrassment to the school is such a blemish. If something bad happens at this school, it can all be fixed. It, all, it can all be covered over because there's power, there's money, there's status. If it's not contained, if it's not uh, quelled, silenced, made to disappear quickly, it could uh, quite well jeopardize our season, my career. So my concept for the piece was to uh, make Raven's intimate stage even more intimate by adding seats on the opposite side and making the theater into an alley. And by doing that, um, I feel like it's, it's putting our central character, Brandon, on trial. What happens if uh, the, uh, the actors and with the, audi with the audience here of that, that no one leaves the space and having the actors on, uh, on stage the whole time, it sort of adds a sense of urgency to the piece, which I think is necessary. It allows the audience and the actors within the play to, uh, to be, be the jury of the piece. And, and I think it's, it's, a lot of the play is also about that struggle of, of sometimes power and status can't fix everything. Thank you.